here it is this is my card that I created using some things that I have here in my craft room and I just had to share okay let me just get the zoom all right so I can explain things so basically this card I created a birthday card um, just a random birthday card to keep in my stash because I need to start building up my um, birthday card collection and I got this digi image from a blog that I'm subscribed to and right now I cannot even think of the name of the blog but this is the digi image right here and it was a freebie and if you're subscribed to me on Facebook I'm sure I put the link there for you guys so you can see so this is the image that they gave to us and I think it was like a New Year sentiment or whatever so I colored in these images like so here and as you can see I'm missing someone that's because I have no idea where he went and all the madness of it all on my desk so I used a combination of Sharpies and Copic markers so, um, I colored this guy in here with my used for him. I'm sorry, this isn't zooming in. Um, I used B02 and B05. And I colored him with the lighter color first. And then I went ahead and um, edged him off with a darker color, which would be the B5. And then I blended it all in. Okay. This is also more Copics right here on the bullhorn. I used um, Y03 and YG63, I think. And then I used this um, Sharpie right here. Doesn't have a color, it doesn't say the name of the color, but that's that. Um, and I colored in the hat. Move it up here. Purple and green. And then I stickle this in red over here. I colored that in with this marker, but it's showing up red, but it's actually like an orange. Okay. This little fella right here, I colored in with my R0. No, I didn't. I'm trying to get it together, people. I colored him in with this Sharpie right here. I think. <laughs> and use some... Um, blue and green above his hat which would probably be these two colors I think you know over here I colored him in orange because I thought he was just so adorable and I don't have clearly I don't have an orange Copic so I colored him in using this orange Sharpie and then I use some, oops, sorry, and then I use some stickles, orange stickles around here. I got this from the Ranger Warehouse sale. And I used yellow, so, excuse me, Y13 and Y15 over here on the cake. I colored in their eyes a gray with my Copix one excuse me, C1, cool gray. And then I also colored in the flags at the top. I used some twine from the twinery. I got this in a haul, if you go back and look at that video, because clearly I don't know what the name of this color is because I didn't get to buy the bundle. Um, and then I used my Swiss Dots folder This for the um, dots at the bottom. I embossed it here. For this card right here, I wanted to just use the basics. So what many people, what I found is that we feel, I'm one of those culprits, that I need to go out and buy the latest paper pad so that I can have the most dazzling card. But in fact, you don't necessarily need to do that. All you really need is just the basic colors that you have, just plain colors. Utilize some of that recollections paper that we get on sale that's like, you know that comes in the multi-pack or something like that um just use it uh, and you'll see that you can you can have this effect on a card just by doing so i use this martha stewart paper pad right here and i use the red the green and the blue that's the paper pad and the white paper is from mar uh, excuse me from walmart it's the um 
this um it's like a big a thicker kind of cardstock type of paper and I just put that there in the background and then on the inside of the card I scrap lifted um I can never say her name paper prairie whatever I can't even think of her name but I'll post a link to her um card making tutorials down below I just love the way she layers on the inside because I just feel like you know, why waste paper? If you have all these scraps, use them on the inside. Where else would you actually use it anyway? So, this is it. I embossed it also with a little cuddle bug holder that says birthday inside. And what I did was I distressed it with some distress ink. Can't even think of the name of it right now, but I'll put the information down below. So this is my car, people. I hope you guys liked it and, and enjoyed it. And um, check out my blog so you can hopefully get the link for this particular digital image. Because it was free. So, all right, people. You all have a wonderful day. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.